Right, this one's coming straight off the old noggin. I've just been sitting there, and this has just come to me. Those who built the pyramids that we've always assumed used advanced technology. And I was thinking about the part of the pyramids where they've got those tiny shafts. And I'd watched this video ages ago about when they sent a little robot camera up these. And it's mental, like they go so deep and they're so small. And I was thinking, what could possibly <laughs> fit in there? Because it's like things are locked from both sides. And, and a while back they blew a hole in, because it had been blocked off. So they blew a hole in it sort of thing. And on the other side, you know, it's really fine marble and stuff like that, like really done properly, done, you know, and then it, but then there's another block and stuff. And what could fit down there? I was thinking, you know, like a mouse, you know, and I think, I think they're a bit bigger than that, you know. And then I thought a cat, and then I thought a cat, and like, all this Egyptians and cats. I was thinking, cats? Really, cats? I was thinking, well, we're apes, essentially. Um, we use our hands like apes do, right? But apes have a tail. Well, a lot, some of them have tails. Monkeys have tails. But some of them, no, apes don't have tails, do they? But they lost their tails before. And... Um, Siamese cats don't have tails. Or they, no, they do, they do, they do. Cats still have their tails. Anyway, right? Sorry, don't go. This is, honestly, it's good. Um, <laughs> but, right, who's to say that you have to use your hands to be advanced? And then I thought about the cat's claws. And I thought about all this stone cutting that they've done. And they've seen that, um, you know, there are marks on it as if a very fast spinning disc has been done on some of these stones in South America and stuff like that. <clears throat> but anyway, getting back to the cats. Cats are known to be a little bit magical. So... You know, it's possible that there was an advanced being of cats that God made for an intended purpose, but they lost their fur, they lost their tails. They don't do much with their hands. They have other ways, teleportation, or maybe they've got a really fancy strike. Okay, that's going a bit far. But... I don't know, it just really suddenly made sense. And that would definitely separate the uh, the sort of um, alien race from human, right? You know, if we found that they were the ones who made the pyramids and there's a certain number of them that God made, God's helpers, because that's the truth I come to before. And that... They've got advanced technology, but it's not necessarily technology in the same way we think of technology. Like we think of science and machines that you can make that do things. Maybe their advancedness is in some other area. So I just thought of that and there's a few good points there. There's still a little bit of, well, plenty of question marks around it. Needs more thought. But, come on. You know, and then, because there's no writings from them. So, <laughs> they don't bother writing. They don't do, use their hands for writing. And, <laughs> yeah, so maybe they were that small enough they could go into these shafts if they'd want to anyway I don't know they must be there for a reason and those shafts in the pyramids do definitely support the 
the mystery behind the pyramids you know not just the the queen's chamber and the king's chamber and the type of granite and the huge blocks and everything else and the hugeness and the massiveness but these shafts that appear as though what purpose are they because a lot of them don't even break the surface well i don't think any of them do actually i think you know they they point off in cert certain directions but they don't actually break the surface so it wouldn't be an air shaft you know, and the, the fineness of them, you know, that them that shows that they had an important purpose. So maybe you've got to be small enough to be able to crawl into this thing right to the end and then at a certain time, at the right time, you could get transported. Right? It's within the realms of possibility. If you can imagine it, it's possible. So that actually is quite interesting, isn't it? So I think so too. Help grow my channel because it's, it's bloody growing. I've got to catch up with some, uh, some of the deceivers, you know, putting the truth out there. <laughs> I'm, I am I'm God's. God's gift to humanity, bringing you the truth. Okay, bye.